Hello everybody, I'm Paige. Welcome back to my channel. This is Seeking Alexandria. That was all the wrong order. Okay, that, sound, that sounded weird even leaving my mouth. Anyways, you guys, I'm super excited. I have a Kevin Aquan palette. This is the new Electra Pop palette. It is basically a collection of like all shimmer, color, glitzy, glammy kind of shades. Um, I did go ahead and swatch the entire palette on my arm for you guys. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about the feel, the color, the everything. And by the way, look at my new headband. It has all stars. Come on. I live. So I don't know, and I don't know why that was so important, but like I had to tell you, I have already had two cups of coffee and I feel like it is really exciting me right now so this is the packaging do you see the eyes like what do you think drew me into this palette I was like damn those look vibrant those look stunning I need to know if they really are that beautiful on the back of the package here it says dramat dramat eyes I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Uh, like a pro to create endless 3D chromatic eye looks and editorial effects. From a light sheer shimmer to a high metallic opaque finish, these electrochrome eyeshadows combine the perfect balance between pop pearls and pigments to create a striking multi-dimensional look with a weightless feel. For best results, apply with finger for maximum color payoff. Um, as a pro tip, you can layer any shade over blackout, which is just a deep intense black shade, for a more intense color look for more shine you can apply there's a diamond eye gloss I guess you can apply over top that was released at the same time as this one I didn't pick it up because eye gloss isn't my thing um, I feel like uh, I feel like there are days that like just eyeshadow is a struggle so we're stopping there um, but you guys oh my gosh like the packaging is ridiculous this is the actual palette it just says electro pop and I kind of love that like simplistic look what I don't love hold on let me pull up the price on this because if I recall correctly this one not cheap yeah, this was $57. Wow, 57 bucks. It does have five out of five stars so far with five reviews, but it is new to Sephora. Um, just me, let me make sure that there's nothing else pertinent on here. It is limited edition, 12 high impact, sh high impact shades, but limited edition, e, there's something I didn't know. So basically everything that I've gleaned just from reading about this palette is that the concept is that they want to A, be able to let you take like any look from, you know, dull to bam and intense and sophisticated, whatever that means for you. They did include a nice variety, as you can tell, it's a very nice gradient from like a lighter, more demure kind of shade all the way down to the intenseness, which the black shade down here is blackout. It is a very deep black. Now, I want to talk about these shades as far as how they performed in swatch. For the most part, okay, they were all super creamy. Like, all of them. Not for the most part. They were creamy. They feel great to the touch. Some of them have a little bit more chunk reflect than others. Um, but overall, they did perform beautiful. They swatched really nice. Now, some of them, you can tell, are a little bit more sheer unless you build them up. And when I do a swatch, a swatch is done this way, not in the sense of how you build it up or pat it on on your lid. So some of them are going to appear a little bit less opaque, which I believe is what they're going for. They're saying, you know, the lighter ones you can use as a topper if you want to and kind of pat them over top of whatever eye look you have going on. Um, for other ones, you know, they're just straight bam kind of deal. Um, overall though, they were really beautiful. I love that they incorporated like every tone up here. There's four tones that are all a more light, subtle kind of all over lid shimmer for like people that you know are on the like less intense side um, and then when you get down into these there's two pinks right here there's like a baby pink and then a baby pink purple kind of shade and those are both beautiful as far as something you could put over top of to create just a little something like they're very light uh, less opaque but then if you build them up they would also become very true to color so I think that that's cool um, as we get down into the more intense shades down here those were very opaque very it just bam right from the start right from the swatch which is awesome so there is a good mixture here of being able to incorporate some or have one be a statement one can be a layering piece I mean there is a lot of ways so far just from what I'm seeing in pan and feeling in texture and then seeing in swatch there's a lot that can be done here so I want to go ahead zoom you guys in look at the swatches you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and then we gonna put some stuff on our eyeballs because look at how sad and lonely our eyeballs are they're so sad all they been they've been primed they've been prepped that's it they so sad now so let's zoom in guys Woo! first up we have a white reflect in the shade light beam ultraviolet charge and we jump down to the second row where we have switch laser heat fuse jump down to the third row we have amp impulse hardwire and then of course blackout 
and that is the entire palette so what I love is that as I look at this this is one one of those palettes for some reason that I feel like it's almost inspirational like and it, it makes me want to create like a more out there a more like wham kind of eye look and I don't know what it is about this palette because as you guys know I've reviewed a ton of shimmer palettes they have been getting released like hotcakes lately and for some reason this one just like really like I don't know, there's something about it, like these blue, this blue, this turquoise, you know, and it's just like this whole row up here, and then this middle row, and I don't know. I love that when I look at it, I can literally be like, what mood am I in? Am I like in a chill, demure mood? Am I in like a slightly sassy mood? Or am I in like a girl we go in kind of mood? You know what I mean? Like, it kind of brings that vibe to it, which I dig. And you do get a full pan size mirror as well. Um, as far as packaging goes, I'm a little lackluster for 57 bucks. I'm kind of like, eh. You know, I've had palettes that cost me you know twelve dollars that feel like the packaging this actually reminds me a lot of like a a standard makeup revolution kind of packaging you know just all plastic there's nothing too amazing about it in that respect so it's kind of a bummer when you spend like you know 57 after tax you might as well say sixty dollars on a palette and it's like doesn't feel like you got sixty dollars worth of anything uh the shadows are nice and big though so that's cool what are these pan sizes they are 0 0.05 ounces a piece which is like a standard urban decay shadow um that's what i use as my standard you know unit of measure if you will because most people are pretty familiar with the urban decay so i mean the pan sizes are decent um let's let's uh, see if that price point has uh, any merit to it so far though these shadows are super creamy i definitely don't argue that at all the texture on them is fabulous so now the question is we kind of have to decide early on what direction we want to go here there's something about like this turquoise shade right here but like the lighter one that i really kind of am drawn to I really love the idea of putting this, like the bright white, fading it into this light turquoise color and then maybe putting a little black on the outer V. I think that's what I want to do. I want to play with that with one of those shades. I feel like lately in a lot of my videos, you guys have been getting a ton of like purple eye and like, you know, the normal eye, which has like the gold shimmer and then the purple. So I want to give it a little bit of something, something. And I think that that turquoise might just be uh, just the thing. So let me find a complimenting palette because we need something for the green. And actually, you know what might work perfect for this is the uh, Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys ask me to use this all the time. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's fold up the Kevin Aquan and put him over here because, girl, we do not need to be dropping that palette. I think that as far as the crease goes, I'm going to start building up with some of these browns in this area, just mixing a couple of them together. Um, I think I also want to put a little bit of this yellow right here, yellow-orange, up into the upper crease to fade into the brow bone. I think that that's going to look beautiful. Beautiful. And I also, I think, want to incorporate maybe a little bit of the orange slash burnt red combination somewhere in here. Um, I will probably go ahead and, I mean, I'll speed up this part of the process because I know that you guys like to watch the shadows and you want to see that part of it. Uh, but I also, this isn't like the focal point, so I'm also not going to make it the focal point. I swear to God, if you don't get out of my way, Cord, because your girl is scooching in, no matter if you like it or not. Whew. Because sometimes you got to tell those cords what's going on. You got to tell them who's boss. blended shadows yes please now I know what you're probably thinking like Paige how is that red kind of burnt color going to tie in with that turquoise and I honestly think it's gonna look kind of sick like I think it's gonna look really pretty um, I am gonna go ahead and take this 
pick up an Aquan palette here, and I'm gonna just like dive right in, and I'm gonna dip into this turquoise shade right here, and girl, just with our finger, we're gonna pat it on, like look at that, oh my god, the pigment on this is sickening, um, we're just gonna take and like pop it right on the outer V, ooh, Now we're just going to go in with another clean finger and now we're going to dive in to, oh geez Louise, into this white shade right here and we're going to try and fade those two together. Um, this one is the one that I'm talking about if you can kind of see it. It has a lot more chunk on it. You can see it on the end of my finger. Like it does carry with it a beautiful reflect but there's definitely chunk in there that makes it kind of... Uh, pigmented and like saturated but those are the kind of clumps that I'm always talking about like if those fall on your face girl I don't know what you're gonna do but this one definitely has like a chunk more um like squishy feel to it I don't know how to describe it but it makes me want to tap my finger off <laughs> Woo. Woo. Hoo -hoo. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Girl. Hmm. Oh, we're going to go in with some more of that turquoise and kind of build up and meet the two together and just blend them. Oh my good lord, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so far you guys, let's talk a little bit about these shadows. They manipulate beautiful with your finger. Um, there is literally no fallout. I had to double check. I look really orange when I'm this close to the camera. Um, but there's no fallout, so that's amazing. Um, and they stack really nicely on top of each other. I thought for a minute I was going to have an issue when I was like really uh, patting the white on top of itself. Like I thought it was going to get chunky and flaky. But for some reason the texture of these, man, they just meld right together. They just like squish and it works perfectly. Um, so I'm loving this so far. I definitely am excited to add on a little bit of this blackout shade out on the outer V and like smoke it up into the crease a little bit. Girl, you know I need to find like that tiny, tiny little brush. We're going to go in with a tiny little pencil brush and uh, see how we can do this. I'm not even 100% sure how to go about doing this because all I know is I don't want to screw this up, but I also know I need a little bit more depth on the outer V. So tiny little pencil marks, tiny, tiny, tiny. That black does not play. That stuff has some pigment. Girl, Kevin Aquan. You guys made a black shadow that does not quit. That is freaking gorgeous. You guys be so careful with that black because that stuff. Whew, Kevin Aquan, you know what you're doing. That black eyeshadow. Let me just let me say this pan right here will last you literally an entire life times two because. You need like the tiniest amount. Like I'm going in with this pencil brush and I'm literally dotting on like two dots of color, blending it out. Two dots of color, blending it out. Like it, it's gorgeous. All right, guys, so this is where we are at so far. Um, I'm living my best life. The one thing I will say is that as you blend this blackout shadow on, you'll feel like it might be kind of overtaking the eye look or like, oh my God, you know, my my uh, turquoise or whatever color I put on there, it's not as vibrant or maybe the black just kind of washed it out a little. You guys, there's no shame in these shadows. Take a tiny bit on your finger and just like lightly pat it over top of the, you know, like where it was before and it just totally reawakens the entire 
look and it brings back that color and you know it's not like a super intense like it drowns out everything you've already done you can do that at any time with any shadow that's one of the ways I do it sometimes I get a little out of control with my blending or whatever like you guys know I am the most real person I will tell you like dude I screwed this up and when that happens that's totally fine you just got to go back in and you know add a little bit of that color back and before you know it it's fixed and it's not even a big deal um, it's just something that no one ever wants to admit that they screwed up because for some reason we live in a world full of people that want to be perfect. I don't know. It's lame. I don't want to be that and it's just, it's not my gig. I feel like the whole world pretty much by now already knows I'm not perfect. Like, I think you guys knew that on like day one. I am going to take just a flat little brush and I br 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 brush <laughs> as I stutter through it. And I want to take some of that white shade that I put right here. I want to pop it up as a brow bone highlight and see how that looks. Ooh, girl's waking us up today. Hello. And I think, too, that I don't like the way that all of the, the shadows I built into my crease, they got a little out of control, and they feathered a little bit higher than I would normally like, so I'm just kind of going in with this, and I'm going to push them back down a little. Because if you guys will notice, as I take that super vibrant shade and I blend it down, once you shear it out a little bit, it's a lot more manageable and it's even subtle as opposed to being intense. That's one of the goals, I think, of this palette is to be able to use it in such a way that, you know, you can decide if you want it intense, like right here, or if you want to diffuse it and use it in a different way, which is what I'm doing. And it's working quite splendidly. You know, the one thing I really can say that I love about this palette is that their shades do not get muddy. Like, it's so easy for shimmer shades to all just kind of, you know, bleh together. But, like, you can see every bit of definition between, like, that dark, black, smoky, the turquoise, the white. They blend beautifully, but they don't, like, overtake. Like, in my crease, it doesn't look muddy. It looks like I put the colors there that I put there, which I think is my absolute favorite ever in life. That's a lot better. Okay, I wasn't loving so much having so much of that burnt Whoa. having so much of that burnt color in my crease right next to that black shadow so I just kind of took a little extra and like blended it into this area a little bit a little higher um, again just to kind of like meld those two and I think that that worked out very nicely so for my under eye I'm gonna keep it super simple I'm just gonna go in with like a flat brush like this okay hello um, it's just a flat line brush and I'm gonna go in and take that black eyeshadow blackout and I'm gonna keep it on the outer V and I'm just gonna smudge real lightly super close to my lash line then I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that super white shade and I'm gonna kind of run it along my lower lash line right into that black Kinda like that. All right guys, let me go ahead. I'm gonna put on some uh, tight rim liner and some mascara and then I will stop back on and give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts. I come in to you. Final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts. Final thoughts. All right guys, so I went ahead and I got the rest of my face on. If you're curious, on the lips I went in with this. I picked this little Wonderlust. Uh, no, I'm sorry, just Wonder Beauty, Wonder Beauty, it's their Kiss and Tell set from Sephora. I was a little disappointed about uh, the lipstick, but this is in the shade Girl Boss, and I popped a little gloss over top of it, just a buxom gloss that I had strewn somewhere, I don't even know where it went, but anyways, um, you guys, let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about these freaking shadows. Okay, Evan, Ke Evan Aquan, <laughs> I changed your name, go, from, go me, um, Kevin Aquan, here's the deal, bud. The packaging, you get kind of like, you know, like a C. Like, it's pretty, but I don't love how cheap it feels. I feel like for $60, we do need to kind of evaluate a little bit harder. Um, it, Kevin Aquan is known for being more expensive, so I'm not going to hold them accountable as far as like, oh, it's too expensive for what you get. I do feel like we could have upped the packaging a little bit, um, but I feel like that's kind of a thing with more expensive packaging, you know, it's it, it almost seems like sometimes the more expensive, uh, the cheaper the packaging is. And then you look at some like Tom Ford packaging and it's just gorgeous and stunning and it looks like an actual like 
something that you would put out on display. Like there is some Marc Jacobs packaging that I think slays it. Um, and there are, I'm sure there's stuff by Kevin Aquan that has beautiful packaging. I love the concept here, this electro pop, how they made it look like that. Um, I love the concept of the palette in general. And I do think that these shadows perform insanely, insanely well. Uh, the one thing I would caution you on, and I don't know if it'll translate on camera, but when you get really up close, if you get, if you push too hard or get even slightly too aggressive with these shadows, they do start to pill up and get a little bally under your fingers, but it's just because they're so, so creamy that that's just how they perform. Um, overall, I think that this palette is amazing. I think these colors work beautifully. Um, I'm obsessed with my eye and the way it turned out. I love how they incorporated colors, and I talked about this a little bit before, as far as how their gradient shift moves from wearable to more exciting colors, and I love that you can use them in the intense manner and I could have done like an all turquoise lid and I could have really like made this intense pop moment or I could do what I did, create a little bit more of a daytime vibe and smoke it out and still be able to use the palette that way. Now, if, I, if I'm being fair, okay, hold on. Okay. Feels like I already have lipstick um, <laughs> traveling out of my mouth. Um, so anyways, you guys, I feel like if we're going to talk price point, we do need to kind of, you know, just mention this is $57, right? Now, if we're going to pull and we're talking about just shimmers, there's also the Urban Decay set that came out, the heavy metal set. And you guys know, I talked about this before, I did an entire video on this. This, I believe, was 55. So very similar price point. And look at the difference. I mean, as far as, woo, as far as packaging goes, and I didn't click it in. By the way, there is a click here. If you buy this palette and you're like, why won't it stay in? Listen, it has to click in like, otherwise you're gonna have what I just had happen. But these shadows, like, look at everything that you get. Like, you get two or I'm sorry you get four rows two intense two demure for about the same price point and like look at the packaging that you get with it the entire setup everything versus this which is actually a couple dollars more and the colors that you get I mean I'm not saying that it's not beautiful it's not amazing but if we're talking about spending money I just want everyone to like be aware of all the options that are out there now I do know that these shades are only 0.03 ounces versus these which are 0.05 so these are you know not quite double but they're about one and a half what these are so you know something to consider there I try to keep everything like as equal and honest as possible I think before you buy any palette like this that's definitely like do I have a use for it I don't need to tell you guys how to spend your money but that's just how I look at it personally so for me I don't know if this is so much a palette that I would like keep and gravitate toward time and time again but I do think that as from like a review first impression standpoint it is amazing quality it's a great palette and overall due to get two th two huge thumbs up for me because I'm obsessed with the way my eyes look girl um you guys that's all I have before I start repeating myself wow this lipstick is absolutely beautiful like Hmm. And you guys, let me know. I don't remember if I asked this in another video or not, but I have picked up a ton of like little kits like this and other little lipstick, like little just things. And I don't know, they're like really holiday driven. And if you guys want me to like go through them, swatch them, tell you what I think and, and kind of go that route, let me know because I will do a whole video dedicated to just like the holiday collection lipsticks that I have. Um, and kind of if they're good, if they're worth it, if they're not, because obviously a lot of them are seasonal, so you won't be able to get them later and this time of year is a great time to pick up these little sets because you get a bunch of like little options from brands that you probably couldn't normally afford but now you know you find yourself getting a couple of them and giving them away trying different brands different consistencies wearabilities and it just lets you play around with cosmetics so much more this time of year so if that's something you want to see leave it in the comments also leave down there let me know what do you think of this palette something you'd consider something you wouldn't consider Kind of feel out the situation. What do you guys think? Kevin Aquan is a hugely known brand, super popular, super amazing. I can see why it's so popular, because wow. Um, but you guys, that's it. I'm trying to make sure I ran through everything, and I think we're good. You guys, don't forget to check that description box for all my social media handles, because that's where it's at. And uh, that's where it's at. <laughs> Except it's not in the kiss. It's in the description box. So go check that out, you guys. I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you like this. I look, because girl, I do. Ooh, girl. Okay. <laughs> Electro pop is popping. <laughs> All the puns. All the puns.